Well, it's about time I let you guys know something. Since last time you saw my car, it has been having plenty of trouble. Not just getting inspected or registered or any of that, but it's been running not right. It's been driving as if it has a misfire, but I hadn't, hadn't been getting any codes. Contacted the guy that I bought it from, did a lot of talking, and he actually sent me a new computer for the car. So I installed that yesterday, didn't make a video on it just because I wanted to get this done. Didn't really change anything except for that the fact that after I took it for a little drive, I finally got a check engine light going for that, those symptoms that my car was experiencing. So that, that light was telling me that I had a cylinder four misfire. So what this means is I'm gonna go through the engine and figure out what's causing that misfire, if it's the spark plug or the coil pack, or I was talking to Adam and maybe even my fuel injectors. So today I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing there, but I thought I'd update you on my car. Going for a cold start. How do you feel about that, sir? Um, not as good as if it was like not not broke. Still sounds good though. Oh, yeah. Smells a little funny, but it's still a WX. Yeah. So today we are going to be figuring out what is wrong with Ryan's car. We already do know it's the um, cylinder four misfire, and um, we're going to be seeing if we can go ahead and fix that. We're also going to be taking you guys with us today to go get a couple parts for a separate video that we're going to be doing as well. And I'm almost getting run over by Ryan right now. So yeah, let's uh, let's have a great day. Today's going to be a fun day of installs and stuff. So we're headed to the store right now. We're going to be picking up a bunch of bolts and um, a bunch of like screws, I guess, to put in a shroud for my car and put something on his car. And yeah, what else are we getting while we're out? Shrimp um, chips. No more shrimp chips. Get those out of here. Those are disgusting. They're so good. Let's go get our parts and screws. Got the stuff. Hopefully it works. So update on this car here. What has been done is we took this out of the way, all the washer fluid, because that was down in this area. And we actually, let me get some more light in there got down over to the coil packs that are right down here. So as I said, I was having a cylinder four misfire. So we took out the coil pack right here that goes on a uh, spark plug four, I guess, four cylinder four. And, and what we found was that that coil pack, it has a clip kind of like, yeah, I'll flip it around for you guys so we can see. This is actually the clip that goes to the, the washer fluid right here and this part is actually broken off on on the coil pack so that wasn't giving that coil pack any power causing it to misfire so my dad he got a, a zip tie and actually just zip tied the the clip back on to the the coil pack there giving it the power it needs took it for a drive and everything seems to be running well so we're going to disconnect the battery actually it's disconnected right here that resetting the whole codes and stuff take it for another drive and hopefully it'll reset everything then i can get the car inspected and then registered and then on to more fun stuff and we'll be all happy down the road <laughs> it's been a long long journey here but hopefully that's gonna help fix all these problems no. finally doing work doing work on your car now doing work on my car it's just a big filming day you'll see all this eventually and throughout the week so Battery's back connected again. As I told you about the coil pack and all that stuff, that's all reconnected. And uh, yeah, now I've just gotta put my windshield washer fluid back in. We're gonna be going to return some bolts because they actually weren't the right size for doing an install in Jordan's car. So let's get these back in here so we can go do that. 
Bam! We are now back to the vlog. We just got done shooting a install vid that you'll see later with this thing. Um, it's gonna be basically almost kind of like a how-to, but um, more of just showing us doing it. And in case you wanna see us do it, go check it out when that comes out. But uh, I'm gonna go meet Ryan um, to get some food after his stupid, you know, eye appointment or doctor whatever thing, cause he's blind. So we're gonna head over there. Waiting for Brian at the eye place, huh? We're gonna go get right. Wendy's cause we're starving. So we're at Wendy's and uh, squat up. Yeah. Leaving Wendy's. And uh, this kid's here. Hi. We're at the great Walmart. Getting some, uh, what are we getting? Uh, some Arizona. light bulbs for my car. What do you need? Why don't you uh, start here? Let's find the WX. But they're aftermarkets, so. True, so you don't even need to listen to it. NH3. Oh, yeah, this is it. It's got the, it's got the two little grooves. So we're gonna get these and hopefully, hopefully that works. Use pen pad to complete transaction. We're back at the garage, and we have a ton of stuff to do. Three things. For for this part of the vlog, that wait, hold up, get out of my face, boy. For this part of the vlog, what you're gonna be seeing is me. Uh, I fix the splitter. That's what you're gonna be seeing in this. Um, lip, front, whatever. I'm sorry. Not a splitter. It's a front lip. My bad. Whatever. You're gonna be seeing me fix the front lip, and then uh, gonna be fixing my headlights. We bought the correct bulbs, as you just saw at Walmart. So we're gonna be putting those in, and then we're gonna be trying to put the shroud in with some bolts that we bought. Sweet. Let's get started. So now I got the lights done. We got the lip done. I'm gonna show you guys what we did to the lip. As you can see, there's bolts all around. One here, one here, Ugh. one here, one, one there. Just all around, just holding the lip on. So this is gonna, this thing's not going anywhere. Got these all fixed up. We're gonna work on leveling them now so they point at the road correctly. And then the shroud, uh, the, all the little bolts that we bought for that don't work because well, they're the right size. We just will need a nut on the other side. Like there's holes here, there, different spots. You need a nut on the other side to hold that, that bolt in to hold the shroud on. Ain't that right, Jordan? Yep. All right, guys. Thank right, you guys. so much for watching this video. A little recap of what we showed you today. We fixed my headlights. Uh, I fixed my car. Uh, we we fixed my splitter. Uh, we did not get the shroud on for under the hood, but uh, we did another install that you'll see in a later video, so keep tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Peace, Peace out, out and stay wicked.